most of the of the world uh, and most of the countries in the world and after two days or within from today and the coming week the whole week there is a celebration which is called the Christmas Day. Christmas Day which means the which if someone is asked what is the uh, what do you mean Christmas Day? They would say it is the day when Jesus was born. It's the celebration for the birthday of Jesus this we are born here. So in this discussion, I would like to mention to, to, to link two things together. Two birthdays. The birthday of Isa alayhi salam, Jesus may peace be upon him. And the birthday of Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. So in that, I know that many Muslims has the celebration of the, what the, in the month of, they call Mulbid, Mulbid the Nebuwi, in that, in the 12th of that month, there is a celebration where is to commemorate Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and saying that it is to with, uh, his birthday, to celebrate with his birthday. And here we have that Christians, they say that they celebrate for Jesus, that they celebrate uh, on the 25th December. Let us look at this issue from, uh, not from, uh, only from Islamic perspective, and from Christian perspective. But let's make it, first of all, let's look at the issue from a logic point of view, from a common sense. And then after that, we will come to the discussions of the religions, the two religions, Christians and Muslim. Or say, the Injil, the Gospel, and the Quran. Um, and then we can compile something related to it, which is about the history and the historical points of view. We know that uh, maybe some Muslims who celebrate for the birthday of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam may think that I'm offending them, but I'm not here to offend anybody, but just to, uh, to tell the, the, this issue from an academic point of view. And also some Christians will say, oh, then you are offending us. So then again, I would apologize, apologize everybody who is, who is feeling to be offended. And then um, from there, we want to know what is going on. But again, I'm not against any particular culture or community but I'm speaking to the Muslims whose their culture is Islam. Not the Muslims who just have other cultures and have Islam by name or call themselves that they are Muslims or something like that. I'm talking about Muslims who put aside all the cultures that goes against Islam. Especially when that culture goes against monotheism the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in then, now before I even go to the details of what the gospel says about the birth of Jesus and what uh, Islam says about it, and what Islam says about also the birthday of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then let us use only the logic, only common sense. The short, in short, we can say that Nobody can say, I know when Jesus was born. As the same thing, nobody can say, I know when Muhammad was born. And that is the fact. The reality is that we don't know when they were born, particularly the day. We don't know the day, the birth of the day. We don't know that. It's very clear, and our grand grandfathers didn't know. And even those who witnessed them, those who were their generation, they didn't know. Why? Because they don't even know their birthday. And it's very simple that 
anyone who is older than me, especially those who were born in and, uh, parts of the developing countries, they cannot know their